Godzilla minus one. Oh, this is the is it? Uh, this is the prequel to all the Godzilla movies, the, the Toho Cinema movies. Yeah. Uh, I. This is one of those rare movies. Yes, <laughs> it's one of those rare movies where uh, they the people didn't ruin the a, a monster did, movie. They didn't make a prequel to like normally you get a monster movie that focus like in America when I watch Godzilla or Kong, I want the movies to focus more on the monsters yeah. because I don't care about the humans. Yeah, in but, Japan, yeah, screw humanity. They, I don't care about the human characters, <laughs> right? But in the in the Japanese one, like especially Godzilla Man, well, they they found a way for me not to care to not to be the focal point is Godzilla, no. but to be the to tell a human story. They put and it's, a, and it's a, a really really and good a, human story. It's a great story. It's a it's Mr. Miyagi's story. Kind by the of way, like by the way, this is a very very late review, but. Very I ref late. I refused to watch this in the movie theater because the, my movie theater was playing in the the cheapest theater and I needed like full audio. Oh, and I saw screen. this in IMAX. I saw this yeah, in yeah. IMAX. I saw this in Dolby. I saw this many times in theaters. We saw no, no, we I also well I saw something else during during that time when it came out and we're like ah oh, man which one should I watch? I'll watch that later. I'll watch that later. I regret not watching it in theaters. No, yeah, I no. saw it. I saw it a couple now, of times. Now now I mean it's on Netflix, so now it's like. Oh, I mean, I don't way, have thanks, that Dolby Atmos you know, experience at home. Oh, I do, I do, I do. I but, got kids, so I don't want to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, laugh or, finally, it. it's. I love and, Louis, but I can't watch it in that in Dolby. Mm, that human story. It's it's the thing. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I this movie it. is God. It's it is Godzilla. Godzilla is the monster in it. He's the one causing all this mm. damage. But the movie's not focused on Godzilla. It's focused on. What Godzilla or what really the war has, it really has nothing to do with him. No, it's what the war did to the war and the fact that um Koichi or is it Koichi uh, uh, like the the pilot? No, no. How he how uh, he feels? I feel like he's making up words now. Yeah, no, no, that is him, Koichi. Yeah, Koichi uh, Shishima, right? Mm -hmm. Shishima. That's all. I can just say it fast. If I say it slow, it doesn't sound the same. Shikishima. Uh, Shishima and uh, Shikaka. Chicago. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm, too. I'm, 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 I'm an idiot. I'm going, yeah, he's from Toronto. Uh, but it's he's a kamikaze pilot that deserts <laughs> deserts the war. He deserts the war. Uh, he ends so he's up not a kamikaze pilot then. <laughs> no, he, he's he's assigned to be a kamikaze pilot. He doesn't want to go through with it. He deserts. He, he goes deserts, and he, yeah. he he <laughs> pretends that hey, he pretends hey, my plane's messed up. He flies to a small island. <laughs> and he witnesses Godzilla, and he he freezes and doesn't try to help anyone. And now he holds that yeah he's, that, he's, um, so that regret. He's, he, he's the guy who refuses to drink the Kool Aid because he didn't like the flavor. Yes, mm -hmm. he's like pretty much. Ooh, but then, but grape? but what? Mm, no. But what causes the problem? Orange. He's, I like orange. He's his. The thing is, his he doesn't feel bad about not doing the kamikaze thing. He feels bad the fact that when Godzilla attacks the small island, when he's a, and by the way, he's a small Godzilla. He's not full of blown Godzilla at the time. Yeah, he still destroys his whole island, kills almost everyone except those two dudes, him, yeah. and the and the other and and the, and the mechanic. Uh, and he holds he like the mechanic blames him. He's like, you didn't do anything. And that's that's what that, that's what he's holding again. Like the movie has really nothing to do with. Oh, Godzilla's coming to kill us. We have to figure out how to kill Godzilla. That's a that's a subplot in this movie. Yeah, the whole movie is about how he de how he deals with coming back. Well, it's, it's after like, deserting the war. It was well, and they, they build, treat, rebuilding his life. They treat Godzilla as a disaster that's happening, and they don't they don't actually they don't make him like oh shit what are we gonna do how are we gonna f fix it they're not trying to fix anything it's just happening. That's yeah. the, that was the coolest part of the whole movie is the fact it's mm -hmm. just happening. It's also yeah. just let's just find a way to survive. Yeah, and then and plus was, now he now during so after the war the war has destroyed Japan right where the, the little town that they live, and he comes back home his whole family is gone. He meets this girl who's taking care of somebody else's kid. They they end up so they end up essentially building a family together rebuilding and that's the thing all this other stuff is happening he's rebuilding his life while still having that guilt and Can't rebuilding get gets gets a he gets a job the one of the most dangerous jobs because and because it, you know it's dangerous and it pays more and he wants he he has that 
that that death wish right he has that like i i don't deserve it i don't deserve happiness because of you know what what i have to do it's like being an ice road trucker no but then you but but you have you have that that. and then you have the so the thing is this movie is all about the relationships the relationship between uh shishima and uh the crew right the crew of the ship and their their name noriko noriko no and Oh right, the Rico no, no, and the and, and the little girl, and the baby and the baby, the baby, right? Like, what's the, the whole baby? Name? I forget. I can't Yoichi? pronounce it. No, no, that's him. No, he's he's Koichi. <clears throat> he's Koichi. Then the baby's name is. Weird, my got Let's me just wrong. call her. Let's just call it's her like, May. I think it's Akiko. Yeah, yeah, Akiko, and then uh, yeah, there's Noriko, and then there's the the young dude, which is Yuki. Then there's the nerd, Point Dexter, bro. and uh, bro, I was so jealous of the duck. Did you see that hair? The nerd, they're nerd, bro. Then he's the one, and he like he's the one that secretly has figured, like trying to figure out how to destroy Godzilla. Um, the whole the whole time when Godzilla finally hits, what is it? Uh, I forgot what city what city he hits. Does he hit? Uh, I forgot what city he hits, but when when Nor- uh, Noriko is on the yeah, when Noriko's on the in. yeah when Noriko's on the train and all that's going down with Godzilla, and he shows up, the whole the that whole sequence where she told him from the beginning, you have to, you're the one that has to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, oh, bro, hey, no and then spoiler. you just hear go, <laughs> you just hear her do that. Was uh, that video uh, sitting? I was yeah. like, I, dude, there was a lot of things I didn't expect in this, and I enjoyed that's every how, that's, part that's, of that's it. That's how good. That's how good this movie yeah. was. It's like you don't expect really, this stuff to happen. It really, it really draws you in. It really With draws you in. The human story. The human story. That's the yeah. difference between. I, I, I think this this kind of opened up, like uh, like made it possible for someone to have an actual, like a, to actually make humans a real thing in these Likeable. movies. It's when he, and, it's and, when and Godzilla, Godzilla takes like, Ginza. Ginza. It's Ginza. You know, it's kind of like uh, like uh, with Alien vs Predator. People hate the movie because the human element ruins it. Mm-hmm. I think th- the this could be a nice little template for it if you want to bring back Alien vs Predator. Have it be a thing in the background, not be the thing that's they, done. They tried mm-hmm. to do that with the the last movie, the Big Predator, and but they they it's that the problem is that with in America they did it. Uh, they like kind of did it with Predators though. Yeah, also predators. It's because, more human. Uh, trying to yeah, tell human stories. It's all the it's all the uh, the assassins. Yeah, the no, problem is, is that they just <laughs> the, the the problem is is that they just hey, they just don't, they haven't they haven't figured out here <laughs> in America. Like, give everybody diabetes. They just haven't figured out here in America how to tell that monster story, but focusing and tell a human story with the monsters no. in the back, because. We go see Godzilla X Kong, Godzilla versus uh, Godzilla versus Kong, right? We go see those movies. I don't care about the humans. I care yeah. because I, I care. I want to see these guys. I want to see these monsters fight. I want to see the well, monster. Well, fights. there's a different. There's a difference in that because Kong has the ability to to be human in 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 interactions. But again, I don't He's care about human. the human. I know, which is why, which is why you don't care about the humans. No, I I, I don't care about the humans because they don't build Kong, a good Kong story. Is all the humanity you have. And, in, and in the, all, all in these, you need in a movie, and that's that's in, what you get. In these American versions, they focus the story on the monsters versus this Godzilla minus one. They're focusing the story, a smaller story, on Chishima and Noriko and the group of friends well, all, and well, how I mean, they're strug- how they're how they're struggling post war. It's a yeah. post war story. Well, that's right? also the issue, this is uh, the issue with uh, with horror movies in uh, like nowadays. It's like ever since. They, uh, they were able to find humanity in Mike, Michael Myers. Also, they want to find humanity in every every killer and have a reason. In reality, you just have a slasher movie, beat have a slasher in the background. Everyone's just, just trying to survive. That just that's reminded how that me. Works, but just that's how this movie works. They're making a uh, Friday the Thirteenth prequel movie with uh, Mrs. Voorhees and uh, Jason when he's little. Little Jason, played by yeah. Jacob, oh. Tremblay. Jacob Tremblay. Jacob Tremblay, get put him in the oh. makeup. That'd be dope. Uh, he's too he's too old now for that. He's too old now for that. But I do love the post war story uh, mm-hmm. with uh, with these guys. And not only that, if you kind of watch it, the um, the criticism towards um, the Japanese government mm-hmm. that uh, 
they they have against it. It's kind of mm-hmm. a little bit of a very interesting mm-hmm. that they 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 let them make that they, movie and still criticize it. They gave they, the kamikaze. It was yeah. for no reason they because they ended up losing the war anyway. Yeah, they didn't care yeah, about they the didn't people. care for us. Yeah, uh, but I think this is this is also proof that you can make a monster movie and not spend all that money on special effects. This movie was made for what 12, 12 million, right? Twelve million dollars. This and most looks of it is, well, it won an most, Oscar. Yeah, and most most of it was, most of the money was spent on the special effects. That's all they spent. And, and this it, looks fine. What I liked about it is it's not the Godzilla that we get in here in the American version. We man. get even though it's CGI, it still looks like it could have been a dude in a in a suit, but it looks <laughs> cleaner. He moves the same. He does all that. He does same. all that. But I don't mind it. You know, like, all, all that reminds me of is, is that uh, that skit with Bobby Lee where he like he's just fighting these dragons in a green suit. Just uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's and, and, and insert the clip here. Oh, no! Yeah. Uh, so open your mouth. Yeah, drink as much as you can. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, but. But no, but, see, uh, but it, it just goes to show that you don't this... need all that money for special effects, right? And mm-hmm. you don't need it because this movie, yes, it's a Godzilla movie, but again, it's telling a human story. But when Godzilla's on the screen, they make the most of Godzilla being on the screen. That's the thing. Godzilla's not on the screen all, at all times, but when he's no. on the screen, there is devastation. The uh, you know the heat ray he throws, the fact that again Love they it. show and they Love show it. the story. They show the story of how Godzilla. Kind of ends up mutating into a bigger, bigger beast. In the beginning of the movie, they they did bomb Godzilla, and he oh. s- sucked in all that radiation, mm-hmm. and he became bigger. Right? It's it's and it, this just the, the story with Noriko, the story with Shikshima Noriko and the the baby. It's I think it's really it's really well done. I yeah, also it, love it is that, a Kiko. I also love that they they keep the same roar, Godzilla's roar. I mean, it's just amplified. Mm-hmm. And the music, and the music, the mm-hmm. original music, and the new, the new music, because it's yeah, a, it's, it's telling the a prequel of how it started. Cigarette, dude, it. Yeah, he takes his hat off. Come He's on, like, "Oh, I, I gotta go. Oh. I gotta fight." <laughs> uh, it's it's one of the Las Vegas. It's like He's Las Vegas and Godzilla. He's in a corner outside the window, just taking a whiz. It's, and... uh, it's like the Mickey Mouse in uh, yeah. Times Square, in New York. Yeah, it's it's, it's a it's a, yeah, it's a Mexican okay. dude in a Godzilla county. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right oh. uh but no this movie from beginning to end the fact that even even the battle scenes that they have towards the end of the movie where they're trying to take on godzilla and shikshima gets that plane fixed and you know he's ready he's ready to that's it he's ready to to give to you know to sacrifices of kamikaze style right now he's yeah. gonna do the kamikaze stuff <laughs> and everyone's just worried job. but see but that's the thing it's like you don't want him to like the, like you we like throughout this whole movie you build the relationship you yeah. build the liking of like these characters you get you bond with these characters in the movie this is what they found it's, yeah in movies you in Japanese struggle you feel yeah. for struggle the movies in Japanese but it's you it's a universal it's a universal yeah. feeling like we you, <clears> like <throat> I understand what they're going through like you can understand it it's conveyed properly in the acting the acting is great in this movie. By the way, if if you go on there and watch it on Netflix, make sure you put it on Japanese because the English yes. dub is hard. Not good. It's not good. It's it's you have to watch Japanese subtitles yeah. is fine. It it, it you, oh, yeah. it's not hard and it's learn it's, to it's, read. Yeah. Learn to <laughs> learn <laughs> yes. to read. Like, t- t- today, Junior. Yeah. Reading Some rainbow. Because because people people bitch and complain about like oh I don't fucking read this shit. It's like no. Fucking read it. It's totally <laughs> it's, worth it. And they convey it in the, in their facial expressions and their acting skills. Uh, yeah. it's, it's really it's well like, done. It's not like fucking Bony or or like you know how's it's know, not an animated. Castle. You can see yeah, yeah. Moving Castle. You you you. No, can, those are great uh, movies though. Those are great movies. Oh, so Love Spirited Away. Better in yeah, Japanese. And, Oscar winner. Yeah. Love Spirited Away. Sorry. But this movie for sure, you have to watch it in Japanese. And yeah. if I don't know if, uh, if if Netflix is gonna have it, but if they ever put out the black and white version, it's another one. Oh yeah, black and white watching it in black and white. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it was Godzilla minus color. That's what it was. Or called. what you could do, just hit your TV a couple of times. Eventually, it'll just gonna, gonna <laughs> lose. Color. I mean, you can always grayscale your your screen, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Uh, it's on Netflix. I it's one of those movies I highly recommend. It's yeah. 
Academy like, when it was in theaters. Now. When it was in theaters, yeah. I recommended it. I told everyone it was going to be li- in theaters limited. I even called you and I told you you need to go watch this in theaters. I tried. Yeah. I tried, but they didn't have it in Dolby. You mentioned it. Yeah. You mentioned on one of our, one of our episodes. I forgot which one it was. Right. I mentioned because of how good it is. I yeah. I uh, I was an advocate for this movie. All of my buddies, I told them you need to go watch it, and they all were like, "Yep, it's a great hey, movie. You got it's friends? a great movie. Yeah, I got friends. I got some friends." I thought I was- uh, <laughs> no, you're my brother. <laughs> Difference. You're forced. It's a forced friendship. It's a forced relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're we're, I we're forced, to, forced with me. It's just a blood bond we have to have. <laughs> um, but no, I highly recommend watching it. Netflix, check it out. It's also on video on demand if you want to buy it. Uh definitely it's it's one of those movies that should be in a lot of people's um rotation, a lot of people's like collection. It's a great yeah. movie. Godzilla you know, minus one. They did know, a good the job, only, and the only thing missing from this whole movie was that blues guitar. Mm. Mm-hmm. On that note, I'm not Matthew oh. Broderick. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, no, or P Diddy or Puff <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> Puff Daddy soundtrack. Yeah. And on that note, this has been Vinny. Is Ozzy. Anna. We'll see you guys next time.